Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make awesome scenes for your Roblox GFX. Now scene building is an essential thing to know for GFX and this tutorial will teach you how to do it. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. First things first, it is time to gather the assets you want to use for your GFX. Now, you have a couple of options here. First one is you can browse online platforms like Polyhaven and TurboSquid and CG Trader and Sketchfab here. And really any other place for 3D models, you can just search up free 3D models and, you know, use any of these really. Just making sure it's not like a like a scam website type of thing. With most of these 3D model sites though, um, you'll need to log in. And most of the models on there are ones that you can't actually actually use just because of like copyright issues and stuff um, and that's because most of them are uploaded by just like random people you can obviously kind of just use them and you probably won't get in much trouble because it's Roblox GFX and they won't really care and they probably won't even notice their stuff there but I will recommend using Polyhaven instead Polyhaven has got this library of tons of different free like the is that a rat they've got a bunch of free very realistic 3d models that don't require you to log in and don't have any copyright restrictions or anything i'd also highly recommend polyhaven because they also have pbr textures which are like really which are like 3d like realistic textures and they have hdris which is like automatic really easy lighting i'll be showing you how to do pretty much all of these uh, importing your own models using pbr textures and doing hdris alternatively if you're feeling a bit more creative you can actually create your own assets from scratch using blender's modeling tools and stuff because blender isn't just like a 3d rendering software it's also and actually mainly a 3d modeling software you can also get assets from the roblox studio toolbox here the free models section and you could just search up whatever models you'd like but i actually wouldn't recommend doing this i think this is what most gfx artists actually do uh, at least beginner ones they export them out of roblox studio this is not something i actually recommend too much because a lot of the assets in here don't don't really function well when imported into blender um, a lot of the time the textures will get messed up and uh, yeah just overall it's not a good thing to work with I will suggest though if you are going to use the free models thing search up whatever thing you want and then put meshes at the end so if I want a gun I'd say gun meshes because that's the thing meshes are like actual models that when you export them they have a texture and stuff which can sometimes work so yeah I wouldn't recommend using the toolbox in Roblox studio now regardless of where you'll get getting your 3D models you need to make sure that the assets you select match the kind of um, theme and style of your scene. For example, if you're doing like an aesthetic type of GFX, you choose assets like these on screen right now that kind of match your scene and the theme of it. Definitely take your time and explore all the different options I just mentioned before and don't hesitate to mix and match 3D models from, you know, all of those places. You could take some models from Polyhaven, take some models from uh, CG Trader, whatever ones, just take them from you know mix and match models from all the different places to achieve your desired look and then you can just go ahead and download whatever things you'd like i'm going to be downloading a few models um probably just a one or two textures and an hdri Now with all of your assets downloaded, it is time to start building your scene in Blender. So I've got this Rhino rig um, set up right here. If you want the Rhino rig, by the way, you can download it in the description below. Now we need to import all of the stuff and set up the main kind of foundation elements of your scene, mainly by, by foundation, I kind of mean the ground uh, plane and just, you know, the foundational stuff like that. So to do that, you're gonna go up to add mesh plane and then that'll add in just a plane like this. You can then size it up to whatever size you'd like um, for the ground. I suggest not going too big, especially if you're gonna be using really realistic textures or grass or whatever you're gonna be using on here because the bigger it is, the more of whatever you're using on it, it's gonna require, so then the more laggy it's gonna be. But either way, after you've done that, you wanna go into object properties right here and make sure the Z is set to zero, so it's actually on the ground. Then you wanna click tab on your keyboard or just go up to this little thing right here and click edit mode. Right click on your plane, click subdivide, and then in this little box that pops up, you wanna go under number of cuts and set it to 100. And the more realistic you want it, the more times you wanna subdivide it. So if you wanna make it a little bit more realistic, 
you can subdivide it again and even another time if you want but i'm just going to keep it like that because it can get quite laggy um if you subdivide it too much then at the top here you want to go into sculpting if it's not there for you you can click the plus and then go into sculpting and then choose sculpting and you should already have your plane selected and then with the sculpt tool you can just sculpt in a bit of land and stuff i made a whole tutorial on sculpting and i'll link that um somewhere but you can decrease and increase the radius obviously you can probably guess what all these things do the strength of it um of course is how strong it does the sculpting and the plus and minus here are uh, plus brings it out and then minus puts it down like that um, pretty self-explanatory you get the you get the idea and then just kind of shape it up a bit until you get kind of something you like so i'm just going to give it a bit of stuff around the place kind of like that then you can go back into layer and it is time to import our assets once again i recommend getting all of your assets from polyhaven as those assets are actually made for blender whereas most of the other ones um cg trader turbo squid whatever have models that are for other 3d modeling software as well not primarily for blender so a lot of them might not work a lot of them might be hard to import and a lot of them you might also need to import the model and then apply the textures and all of that stuff it's just a lot of effort but to import your polyhaven ones there is a few ways to do it but this is how i do it you go up to file locate whatever model you want to import i'm going to be doing this uh, i'm going to do the picnic table first go into it and then go into the blend file here go into collection and just import the collection just like this and it will import the whole 3d model the textures should already be set up and stuff as well and then they'll probably be pretty small so you just want to click s on your keyboard to scale it up to whatever size you think is good now i want a bit of grass on the ground so to do that i'm going to go up to file append locate my grass model from polyhaven go into that go into the blend file collection and then just import whatever one i'm just going to do grass medium 01 that should be everything i need then you can just move off the little ball that gets imported off to the side select your plane go under the particle properties right here click plus and then on this little box right here you want to change it to particle settings and that'll be the default particle settings that is used on the ball that we just imported and you'll see there's time Tiny little bits of grass so i'll just kind of increase the hair length i don't want it to be too much i just want a little bit of grass you can also of course increase the number be careful with the number you do because it could be very very laggy so that there i think is pretty good but for now i'm actually just going to go under the particle properties and then set it back to the new particle um thing we made just because i don't want all that grass to make everything so laggy but we'll put the grass back on there later with the plane selected i'm also going to go under the material properties right here click plus and i'm going to go click on this little yellow yellow dot and then set it to image texture and just import a dirt texture just kind of for a little thing that uh, is underneath the grass i could use a pbr texture here but it's just a lot of unnecessary lag now up here you want to right click where it resizes click horizontal split and split it down go up to this little box in the corner and change it to shader editor and then under here you want to change this to world then we can go shift a and then add in an environment texture also add in a mapping node and connect the vector up to that vector and then add in a texture coordinate and connect the generated up to the vector click this little file open button and import your hdri and in rendered mode you can now see we got a little bit of lighting that we will need to change up and kind of mess around with later but for now we need to set up our brick wall so i'm going to go add mesh and then add in just a cube drag it across to here make sure it is on the ground just like that click s and then z you know x and then kind of increase it uh, increase its width so it's actually a wall i'll do s and z and then i'm going to make it a bit thinner and then s and uh, z to make it a bit taller something like that um we're not going to see the rest of the wall the camera is just going to be like right here i don't know where i'm going to put the camera just yet we can always increase the size of it if we do need but now to do the pbr textures you want to click on it and up in our little thing we just opened you want to go back into your object instead of world and then click new to add a new texture then you want to go edit preferences add-ons and then add the node wrangler make sure it is enabled that will let you select your principal bsdf and click Control shift t that'll open up the little file explorer and then you can navigate to your pbr texture you want to use so mine is red bricks right here you can go into textures select all of your textures and click principal texture setup and you'll see it sets up the texture for you and you can see it's on there but it is um, a bit stretched so right here you can increase the um, scale on the x y and z so i'm going to decrease 
increase it on the Y. And it's also rotated the wrong way. So we can flip it on the, it is the Z axis. Okay, we can go negative. We can actually just go 90 and that should flip it. And then you can just mess around with these settings a bit until you get something you're happy with. But if we look at it in rendered mode, you'll see it's not actually 3D yet. So to make it 3D, you want to click on it. And in your material properties right here, you want to go under settings. And then next to displacement, set it to displacement only. And the last thing we need to do is click tab and then subdivide it up. The more times you subdivide it, I'm going to do it for uh, 100 cuts again. But the more times you subdivide it, the more sort of like realistic it is the more kind of displacement in it so you can see i've subdivided it up and if it's a brick then it's going to go down right here so all of these subdivisions right here are going to be kind of pushed back i'm not going to actually edit it like that but that's what it's going to do now if you're applying your textures to a plane you won't have this issue but because we have multiple faces this scale that we see is also applying to the top and because the top is thinner than the front right here it's all puffed up like this so to fix that we're going to click on it click control a on our keyboard and then select scale and that should fix it all up just like that and that is pretty much it now you can just make all the minor adjustments pose your character um do everything you need to do and then you'll have your final version just like that if you found this video helpful be sure to like and subscribe for more roblox gfx content join the discord link in the description we're doing a giveaway at 100 members and thank you for watching i'll see you all next time goodbye